මෙම වැඩසටහන ඔබ වෙත ගෙනින්නේ E-Soft Metro Campus නව්‍ය දැනුමින් ඔබේ අනාගතය හැදගන්වයි. Good evening. Only around 20 years ago, personal computers became small enough and affordable enough for family and house use. Since then, the world of technology has shown no sign of slowing down. But is the Sri Lankan youth up to speed? Let's find out on IT Mastermind 2014. IT Mastermind 2014 is brought to you by the Computer Society of Sri Lanka, strategically partnered by eSoft Metro Campus and media partnered by ITN. Let's now meet our contenders for tonight. Contestant number 1, Viraj Tanuja from DS Senanayaka College, Colombo. Contestant number 2, Padmanadam Tujimayuran. from Shivananda Vidyalaya Batikalo Contestant number 3 Nadisha Madushani Sumana Balika Vidyalaya Ratnapura Contestant number 4 Krishna Varni Jogaraja Victoria College Jaffna Contestant number 5 Bala Subramaniam Nyanakidan Hindu College Jaffna Contestant number 6 Akhil Ashraf Zahira College Colombo Let's meet our judges now Mr Udit Priyanga Manager Professional IT Training eSoft Metro Campus Colombo Mr Dumindu Pahalavat Center Manager eSoft Metro Campus Kandy and a quiz master tonight as always mr faisal bongzo thank you very much miru a very good evening and a warm welcome it's indeed a pleasure to be your quiz master on the 18th the premier round program of it mastermind 2014 well today as usual six contestants representing schools from all over sri lanka are participating and they will be facing four rounds of competition as you all know only the winner and the runner up will be moving on to the secondary rounds now each round will be judged and points will be allocated and added and you got to remember that the decision of the judges will be final as always so without further ado let's move on to round 1 now in round 1 we'll be posing a multiple choice question to each individual student where they will earn 10 points for a correct answer and of course the other contestants uh, you can also register your answers via your terminals and earn 3 points for each correct answer of course you got to keep in mind that you lose 2 points if your answer is uh, incorrect so uh, here we go then with uh, the questions for round 1 and this is your question Contestant number one, Viraj. Which of the following applications can be tracked or monitored by using key logger software? Is it email? Is it instant messages? Is it web browser or all of the above? Just email. Pardon? Email. No, the answer is correct. The answer is all of the above. We're moving on to your question now, contestant number two. Which of the following is not a high-level computer programming language? Is it COBOL? Is it uh, Fortran? Is it Assembly? Or is it C language? Assembly language. Pardon? As answer C. Yes, the answer is correct. Well, that was answered by contestant number two, Padmanathan, and this is your question now, Nadisha, contestant number three. Which of the following that you see on your screen is a representation of uh, one million floating point operations per second? Is it uh, floating point? Is it mega flops? Is it nano flops? Or is it speed? Answer B. Yes, the answer is correct. Mega flops. Here's your question now, contestant number four. That's. Uh, Krishna Verney in addition to Bill Gates who was the founding partner for Microsoft was it Isaac Asimov is it 
Paul Allen, was it Edward Hubble or was it Steve Jobs? Answer B. Yes, the answer is correct. Answer B, Paul Allen. Here's your question, contestant number five, Bala Subramaniam Yanakitan. What is the newest Android mobile OS version which was released in 2013? Is it Honeycomb? Is it KitKat? Is it Jelly Bean? Or is it Gingerbread? Gingerbread. Sorry, KitKat. Yes, the answer is correct. KitKat. Here's your question. Contestant number six, that's uh, Akil. Who is the current CEO of Yahoo? Is it Marisa Ann Mayer? Is it Larry Page? Is it Mark Zuckerberg? Or is it Satya Nadell? Answer A. Yes, the answer is correct. Marisa Ann Mayer. Well, looks like all the students did very well in uh, round one. Let's find out who's in the lead after questions of round one. Bringing world-class higher education to your doorstep. eSoft Metro Campus. Shaping lives, creating futures. Bachelors at 19? In Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. I joined eSoft straight after my O-levels. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O-levels. eSoft. Shaping lives, creating future. Never the IT then um a promoke again Pamanai. ESOF. End of round one. Let's see how our contestants fared at the end of this round. Thank you very much. We have a, a tie in the second place, but let me first announce the third place after this round. In third place, contestant number two, Padmanathan Tujimayuran from Shivananda Vidyalaya with 11 points. In second place, we have two contestants, Krishna Varni Jogaraja, contestant number four, with 16 points. And contestant number three, Nadisha Madhushani, with 16 points. And leading at the end of round number one, contestant number five, Bala Subramaniam Nyanakithan, with 20 points. Second round begins. Over to you, Faisal. Thank you very much, Miru. Let's find out whether the competition will be growing after round two. So far, they're very, very close in round one. Uh, here's round two, and here we'll be posing a question based on an image, and you have to answer individually. You will earn 10 points for a correct answer. The others, of course, you can use your buzzer if you know the answer. And if the first student either does not answer or gives the incorrect answer, the opportunity will go to the contestant who buzzes first. The correct answer will earn you five points, but remember, an incorrect answer will make you lose two points. Good luck. Here we go with questions for round two. And it's your question, contestant number one. Name the device that you see on your screen. ATM machine. Pardon? ATM machine. No. Well, yes. Palm scanner. Yes, we can take the, the answer. Let's have a round of applause for him. Yes, the palm reader, palm scanner. Here's your question, contestant number two. Name the device that you see. Magnetic tape. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number three. Name the device that you see on your screen. It's a modem. No. A router. Yes, we can take that as the answer, a wireless router. Let's have a round of applause for answer. Here's your question, contestant number four. 
identify the cable that you see on your screen. Shielded, twisted pair, yeah? Judges, we can take that as the answer. Right, it's the correct answer. The twisted pair cable. Right, here's your question, contestant number five. Identify the person shown in this image. Blaise Pascal? Yes, the answer is correct. And we have one more question in this round, and this is for contestant number six. Identify the person shown in this image. Charles Babbage. Yes, the answer is correct. Well, there we end questions for round two. Well, your contestants did fare well in this round as well. Let's find out who's taken the lead after two rounds of competition. Lower Pilikat Usas Adhapan Avasta over Cemetery River Kradina, East of Metro Campus, now we are in Obe Anagati Hadaganwai. Bachelors at 19? In Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. I joined ESOFT straight after my O-Levels. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O-Levels. ESOFT, shaping lives, creating future. The question for you, our viewers, on tonight's show is What was the earlier name of JavaScript? What was the earlier name of JavaScript? SMS your answer to 0725 547 547 before noon this Thursday. We are at the end of round two of this show and our judges are ready with the score sheet. Thank you very much. There is absolutely no change in positioning at the end of round two as well. We have a tie for the second place. Contestant number four, Krishnavarni Jogaraja from Victoria College Jaffna with 26 points. <laughs> Krishnavarni shares the second place after this round with Contestant number three, Nadisha Madhushani from Sumana Balika Vidyalaya with, again, 26 points. And leading at the end of round two, it's contestant number five, Bala Subramaniam Nyanakitan from Hindu College, Jaffna, with 35 points. Over to you, Faisal, for round three. Thank you, Miru. Well, competition is there, certainly, because there's no uh, change in positions. They're really trying very hard to maintain their positions after round two as well. So we're on the halfway mark as we move on to round three. Here we will be posing an open-ended question, and of course, you've got to answer individually. You will earn 10 points for a correct answer, and same as in round two, the others can make an attempt by using your buzzers. So good luck. Here we go with questions for round three, and it's your question, contestant number one. Name the primary creator of the Java programming language. Ken Thompson? No. Number three? James Gosling. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number two. What does the company name AMD stand for? Number three would like to answer this question. Advanced micro devices. Yes, the answer is correct. Well, you seem to be answering all the questions of the other contestants. Good luck to your personal question. Contestant number three. Which company is the largest manufacturer of network equipment? Well, number five is indicated. Cisco. Yes, the answer is correct. Cisco. Here's your question. Contestant number four. What was the code name that was used for Java before it was called Java?
Well, none of you seem to know the answer. The answer is Oak. Here's your question. Contestant number five. What does the company name IBM stand for? International Business Machines Corporation. Yes, the answer is correct. And one more question in round three, and this one is for you, contestant number six. Who founded Dell Computer Corporation? Number four would like to answer this question. Michael Dell. Yes, the answer is correct. So with that, we end uh, questions for round three. Let's find out whether there have been any changes in positions after round three. உலகத் தரம் வாய்ந்த உயர்கல்வி வாய்ப்புகள் உங்களுக்காக கொண்டு வரப்பட்டுள்ளன ஈஸ் ஆஃப் மெட்ரோ கேம்பஸ் ஷேப்பிங் லைஃப் கிரியேட்டிங் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் Tell us about yourself. I'm 19 I'm just finished my bachelor's in IT. Bachelor's at 19 in Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. So I skip my A levels and join directly to the degree program. That's great. We didn't have that opportunity. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O levels at eSoft. The question for you our viewers on tonight's show is What was the earlier name of JavaScript? What was the earlier name of JavaScript? SMS your answer to 0725 Five four seven five four seven before noon this Thursday, and here are the winners of the last week's quiz. We are at the end of round three, and let's see how our six contestants fared after this round. Well we saw in round 1 and 2 we had a tie for the second place but at the end of the third round the tie is broken At the end of round 3 in third place we have contestant number 4 Krishnavarni Joga Raja from Victoria College with 31 points And in second place contestant number 3 Nadisha Madushani from Sumana Balika Vidyalaya with 36 points and leading yet again at the end of round 3 contestant number 5 bala subramaniam yanakeetan from hindu college jaffna with 50 points and i hand over the floor to faiza for the final round thank you miru well there is stiff competition because you would notice although the positions haven't changed very much uh for second place there is a lot of competition because we've got a clear leader in uh, contestant number 5 anyana keetan who is leading at the moment however we have the two girls competing for the runner up position number 3 that's uh, nadisha and contestant number 4 Krishnaveni so good luck to all of you as we move on to round 4 which is generally the decisive round and here we use the same format as round 3 and the contestants will be answering open ended questions and of course the judges will be evaluating your answers good luck here we go for questions on round 4 and this is your question contestant number 1 what do they call people who register domain names with the hope of selling them for a profit Well number 5 has indicated domain parkers domain parking service no the answer is uh, cyber squatters or domain squatters here we go with your question contestant number 2 who single handedly built the first apple computer that launched the personal computing era steve jobs no number 3 is indicated Wozniak 
Okay, we'll take that as the answer. It's uh, Steve Wozniak. Here's your own question that is being posed now for you. What was the first computer to have a GUI and a mouse? Well, no one seems to know the answer. The answer is Apple Lisa. Here's your question now, contestant number four. The Mosaic web browser was later renamed and launched under a different name. What was it? Well, number five has indicated his willingness to answer this question. Let's skip. Yes, we can take that as an answer. Netscape Navigator. Here's your question proper. Number five. What does error code 500 mean on the internet? Say error. Say error. Right, the answer can be taken as correct. It's the internal server error. Right, and this is your question. Contestant number six. The final question on our program. What year was Google founded? 1997? No. 98? Okay, we'll take it as the answer. 1998. Good guessing game. Everybody, a round of applause. <laughs> and uh, with that, we end all the questions for round four. And now we'll be able to tell you as to who the winner is and the runner-up going into the secondary rounds. As the 18th program of IT Mastermind 2014 comes to an end, I now have the score sheet which determines the runner-up and the winner who will progress to the secondary rounds. All six of these contestants who competed today are considered the cream of IT knowledge in schools around the country. So we, I would like to announce Every, all the participants um, and uh, at the end I would like to call upon the winner and the runner-up for their awards and cash prizes. In sixth place we have contestant number one Viraj Tanuja from DSN Nayaka College, Colombo. In fifth place we have contestant number two Padmanadhan Tujimayuran from Shivananda Vidyalaya, Batikalo. In fourth place, we have contestant number four, Krishnavarni Jogaraja, Victoria College, Jaffna. In third place, we have contestant number six, Akhil Ashraf, Zahira College, Colombo. And before I announce the runner-up and the winner for tonight, I would like to call upon Professor Gihan Vikramanayaka, past council member of CSSL, and Mr. Shamri Ahafuddin, Deputy General Manager, eSoft Metro Campus Candy, to present the certificates and cash prices. This is the final program of the preliminary rounds of IT Mastermind 2014. We've had 18 programs so far, and we've had 108 students competing in these preliminary rounds. From next week, we will bring you the secondary rounds where 36 students will be competing. But before that, let's find out who the runner-up and the winner are on this show. And the runner-up of the 18th program of IT Mastermind 2014 is contestant number 3, Nadisha Madhushani from Sumanabalika Vidyale Ratnapura with 41 points. And the winner... Tonight is contestant number five, Bala Subramaniam Nyanagitan from Hindu College, Jaffna, with 63 points. That's all we have for you on this edition of IT Mastermind 2014. But do join us next week on IT and at the same time, where we witness our youngsters Competing for the coveted title, IT Mastermind 2014. Good night.
मेमू वेड सुधान ओबे वितरी ने ईस्ट ऑफ़ मेट्रो कैंपस नव्वे दनुमें ओबे अनागते हैडगान वाई